All right, you guys, uh, this is part two of our geometry for the elementary level math uh, test that you guys are getting ready to take. So a rectangular garden has a perimeter of 28 yards. The width of the garden is six less than the length. So there it is. So the length is X. The, the width is X minus six. So add up the four sides. And it says the perimeter is 28. So we're going to go ahead and add 12. We get 40. X is 10. Now it says, uh, what's the area? So we've got to plug in 10, and then 10 minus 6 is 4, so the area is 10 times 4, so choice C, 40. All right, so if a circumference of a circle is twice, the circ circumference of circle A is twice the circumference of B, and the radius of A is 4, what's the radius of B? Okay, I kind of worked backwards on this. So circumference is 2 pi r, so it's going to be 8 pi, there's A. And since circle A is twice B, then uh, B is going to be half of that, so it's going to be 4 pi. So 2 pi R equals 4 pi, you get R equals 2. Okay, choice uh, B. If you have another way to do that, fantastic. Okay, here's a regular hexagon. It forms six equilateral triangles. Okay, so if each triangle has a perimeter of 4, then what's the perimeter of the hexagon? So let the x's be the sides of the triangle. So 3x equals 4, so x equals 4 thirds. So 4 thirds, 4 thirds, 4 thirds, 4 thirds, 4 thirds, 4 thirds, 4 thirds times 6. So 2 times 4 is 8, because 3 goes in there twice, and we get uh, uh, 8, so it's uh, choice A on that, okay? All right, so three spherical balls are, are each 2 inches in diameter, and they fit snugly in that cylindrical can. Uh, what's the volume? Okay, so the volume is base times height. So 2, 2, 2, the diameters are 2, so the, the height is 6, and the radius is 1. Okay, so volume is base times height, where base is the circle, so pi r squared, so pi times 1 squared. And then times the height is 6, so I get 6 pi, okay? Choice C. All right, so in this square above, okay, if it's a square, that's a 90-degree angle right there, and they're telling us this angle right here is 140. Angle A, E, F is 140, so straight lines are 180, so that angle's one or 40 right there. 140 and 40 gets me 180. And then 40 plus 90 plus X gets me the triangle right here, so we get X equals 50, choice D. All right, so in the figure above, what's the value of x? I did my triangle over here, added them up to be 180. I think that's 55, then 55 and 90, and how much more to get this straight line on top? That's another 180, okay, that's 35, and then another triangle over here, we get 55. All right, almost done, we're getting there. So in the figure above, the lines are parallel. Okay, so this angle right here is 127, so that means this corresponding angle is 127. And then the straight line gives us 180 right there, so that's going to give us uh, 53, so choice uh, C. Okay, so, all right. So here we got, uh, in the figure, it says this line is parallel to this line. So this angle and this angle are alternate interior angles. They're equal. So 55, 55, and then the triangle right there tells us that angle is 60 right there. All right, so here A is less than B. So what could be the coordinates A, B? So I, I assigned them real numbers, you guys. So numbers that look like they would fit. If that's 1, this looks like about 0.5, maybe 0.53. This looks like about 2.5. So here's 1, here's 2, maybe 3 right there. So this would be 3, maybe, and maybe negative 0.25, and so on. The only one that works where the first the number is less than the second number is this one, point R, okay? All right, so here in the x coordinate, I'm sorry, if x is the coordinate of point P right there, so looks like x is about 0.9, make it look at, make it be a number so it's less vague. So when I multiply it by negative 2, because this is x right there, this is x, so if x is 0.9, then negative 2x is negative 1.8. This number looks like it's negative 1.8, so it's coordinate B right there. Which of the following represents all the intervals in the graph right there? Well, that's negative 3 is less than um, whatever. X is less than or equal to 7, so choice uh, choice D. Okay, easy. Okay, which of the following points is not on the graph? So we're going to plug in X, Y, see if it satisfies this. Plug them all. There's only one that doesn't satisfy. You'll find out A is the one that doesn't work. Okay, negative 7 does not equal 0 squared plus 7. This is the y, so that goes on this side, okay? All right. Uh, if a and b are two solutions of that, factor that. So when you factor it, we get x equals 2 or negative 1 because you set this factor equal to 0, set this factor equal to 0. That's a and b. So when you add them together, you get um, uh, choice c, okay? 
All right, here, uh, which of the following is an equation? Okay, so there's a b, y equals mx plus b, b is zero, so it's just y equals mx, and so the slope is up one, looks like over three, up one over three, so one third x, so choice b. Okay, it's not a, because it's x, it says which one has the equation of the line? So the lines are in terms of y and x. Okay, so which following could be the graph of y equals 3x plus 2? Okay, so plus 2, this is my y-intercept. It's not that one. It's not that one. It's not that one. So it's either this one or this one. So the slope is 3. A positive slope goes up. It's this one right here. So 3 over 1 is the same as negative 3 over negative 1. So you can go down 3 into the left one, okay? So it's choice A, okay? All right, which of the following is the graph of this um, quadratic? Okay, when it's in this form, the vertex is opposite same. So it's at 2, comma 1. And since it's a positive, it's opening up. The only one that works is this one. This one looks like it's at 2, 1, and it's opening up right there, okay? All right, in the figure, uh, what are the values of x for when f of x is greater than 0? Okay, f of x is when it's uh, um, greater than 0 is above the x-axis. So it wants to know for what values of uh, x. Well, x is left and right stuff, so it's above the x-axis here. So it's above the x-axis when x goes that way, so x is less than 0. It's above the x-axis when x goes that way, so it's greater than 2, so choice E. Okay, so which one is a line? This one is a line right here. Linear means line, choice A. So if the distance between those two points is 13, we've got to use distance formula. So as long as you use distance formula correctly, there it is right there, you get uh, choice D. All right, one more. So in the coordinate plane, which of the following is the midpoint? This one's midpoint formula. Okay, there's midpoint formula, and you get choice B. All right, you guys, hope that helps. Take care.